The deep blue world is definitely filled with some of the most amazing, unique, and even deadly creatures. When you think about these deadly and dangerous creatures, you'd probably think of sharks, the giant squid, and stingrays. But there is one that is so magnificent looking you wouldn't think that it's so dangerous and vicious. Meet the blue sea dragon, also known as the blue glaucus. And they are a type of sea slug. And the phrase, everything that glitters is in gold, is one perfect way to describe this thing. By looking at these pictures, they look pretty big, but they are actually very small, only being around 3 centimeters in length, or only 1.2 inches, or the size of a paperclip. So yeah, they are pretty small. And how is something so small able to be so deadly, you may be thinking? Well, I'll get into that later, but there are a lot more things that make them crazy creatures. If you haven't noticed already, they have vibrant colors, like metallic blues, whites, and grays. So while small, they aren't easy to miss. They have these colors for a reason, not just because they are pretty, but it helps them blend into the open ocean. Their bodies are practically invisible to birds, and even from below the surface, since their undersides are silver, making them blend with the sunlight streaming at them from above. Predators like fish lurking below have a hard time seeing the blue sea dragon. They basically have camouflage both ways, or what is called countershading, which sure does come in use. The reason they have the word dragon in their name comes from their crazy looking appendages, which I and most other people first see when looking at a picture of them. They are really ruffled and spiked looking, kind of giving the look of a dragon's wings. Now, based on all of this, these creatures look fragile and harmless looking, but that's another story. These things are really fierce. These aren't prey, but are amazing predators. One creature they prey on is the Portuguese man of war, which somewhat resembles a jellyfish. Portuguese man of wars are deadly, yet the blue sea dragon knows how to handle and even take advantage of them. Because the blue sea dragon floats on the surface of the ocean thanks to an air-filled sac in their stomach that keeps them buoyant, they are able to drift along the currents, seeking out their beloved prey. When it finds a Portuguese man of war, for example, they actually tear off the tentacles with its radula, a ribbon-like tongue covered in tiny teeth, and devours them. Here's what even gets more fascinating. The blue sea dragon doesn't just eat the tentacles, it also harvests their venom, storing them in their finger-like appendages as mentioned earlier, making one touch hurt like H-E double hockey sticks. So, they can basically consume the venomous stingers from their prey without being harmed. Pretty crazy, right? And, as mentioned, these things sure love to drift along the ocean surface, so you'll never really know where they'll end up. They have been found washed up on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, the coasts of Australia and South America, and pretty much everywhere in between. When people see these things washed up, they are tempted to pick them up and touch them because of how whimsical they look. However, one touch will definitely put them into regret. While the sting isn't usually fatal to humans, it sure is painful, causing nausea, rashes, and even shock in some cases. So yeah, when you see one of these things, I sure want to touch. Or just don't touch any weird looking creature the next time you are at the beach. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.